This is a video on working out what was going on at the time the pain started. And sometimes we look almost at things that are overtly stressful, you know, more on our plate, more to do, more difficulty, more challenge, things you might have chosen or not. But this is just a subtler look at something on the other end of the scale that can trigger pain that people might not always recognize. It's natural to go looking for the overtly stressful thing that happened a few months or around the time that the pain started and um, patients might look for the hidden emotion or um, the event or they might deny that that was actually the thing. They might be quite good at um, dealing with that kind of stress. And if they are, sometimes it's uh, a subtler thing at the other end of the scale that can trigger their pain. So we had a patient who uh, developed hip pain, hip pain at Christmas, and then it settled down, but had bundles of tests, all of them came back negative, some degenerative changes that aren't significant in his particular presentation, and then it flared up again more recently, again for no obvious cause. And um, we were talking about uh, stress and other factors other than the physical ones once we'd examined him to reassure him that there's not a structural thing there's a there's an area of the body that causes pain but we can be confident it's been examined there's nothing sinister there um, well, why is it firing in the way it is and uh, this gentleman was a high, high flyer you know bank manager and, and other high jobs or positions of responsibility he said, why didn't I of all those years get um, get any pain then? And I said, well, because you had to balance absolutely, right? So you can have this really high, high octane life, you know, jumping out of planes, running businesses, uh, uh, physically challenging, psychologically challenging, emotionally challenging, go, go, go. But we come home to a loving family or your friends or have connections that switch you off. So you bathe in serotonin, oxytocin, and that counters all that adrenaline and cortisol. That's essentially balance. So it doesn't matter how high you get, as long as you come down on the same day or within a few days. If you have a few weeks of that, you need a few weeks of this, you need months of that, you need months of this. Ideally, you're getting it every day. In fact, in the moment that you're adrenalized, you're kind of grounded at the same time. Did you add that? And nothing stressful happened um, in his mind view at Christmas when this uh, pain appeared. But um, then he said, oh, the kids, the grandkids were here. Well, you know, grandkids, I have got grandkids, but um, there's a busier time. But there wasn't any physical injury to that but he did say at the start of the assessment when I asked him about his family he said oh yeah you know the way things are now live away two 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 girls and the grandchildren and they live away but I suppose that's the way of the world now and I could sense his sadness at them not being close and I guess in the same way that my life's always been balanced out it's felt very balanced with my children and my wife and the family sense of family i have that his balance came a lot through that and there's other connections of friends and places and colleagues and you know it doesn't just have to come through one place but i felt it was very strong because he was sad as he described that and if you think that christmas wasn't particularly stressful overtly for him for any reason that he could pick up on he got a visit from these people he loved, visit from the people he probably missed, um, felt the presence and the enjoyment of that. And then as they go again, it's that sense of loss, a loss of connection. You're losing the thing that always brings you down. And this gentleman's now retired, now retired. So when you don't have this high octane day-to-day -day drive, uh, your brain craves that, remember, it's got used to it for so long. So he was really focused on uh, the job getting done, a roof getting done. That was the current uh, situation where he noticed his pain. He was having to watch what they were doing and um, 
check on them and he was doing his head in a little bit. So you feel the need to get control of something just because the brain wants to, wants to play out the same behaviours it always has. And, but when you go to the Christmas situation, it's more a sense of loss that he isn't with the people that always give him that balance. So I said to him at the moment, you just haven't quite got the balance. You haven't quite found the thing to fill the void that retirement often leaves people with. And at the same time, you don't have the balance that you've had with the connection of all of the family that you've always had close. And um, But once you see that, you may not be able to change either situation immediately, but you can understand his experience. And once you understand and have meaning to your pain, it has less fear. Because if you've got a pain that the doctors are scratching their heads and they say, oh, I don't know what it is. You're thinking it's something, something they've missed, something. And that gives the brain, that gives the brain something, some problem to focus on. And it'll use anything it wants, anything that's in your line of focus to keep playing out the pain. So he has an opportunity to break the pattern choose some things he wants to do with focus whether that's kind of focusing on the builders in the house or actually something he can channel his energy into and at the same time maybe get a better balance by understanding that um, he's got to accept that distance acceptance means that you still feel the sensation of that disconnect but acceptance means it doesn't create the craving to go and push too hard and the, the pain of that situation becomes easier through that acceptance. So it doesn't have to be over, overtly stressful on top of what's normally happened. It can be a loss or a change in circumstances on the serotonin or oxytocin side where a family connection, love that normally gives us our balance that's sometimes missing. I hope that gives you another perspective on how pain can appear in the way it does. And the more understanding we all have, then the more we can help everybody else.